Turquoise Savings Fano. Welcome to Sunday. Sunday is all about doing my mini savings challenges. I was just doing a bit of decluttering yesterday and I came across this, which I haven't filled out. Just a bit of stationery out of a magazine. I thought I would read it to you because it's relevant for today. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And Arthur Ashey said that. The reason that that's relevant is I have had a very tight week and um, what I have to stuff in here today is half of my Easter savings. I went and bought the Easter eggs. I spent $26. 26 So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Of that to stuff today and because we're nearly at the end of March and I do quarterly goals I just thought I would share with you if you're new you would have seen these a few months back if you're not new that my financial goals were to find additional income I have found little bits and pieces but not anything regular so I'm still working on that my priorities were emergency fund which is in my month ahead binder. Um, that's my green one, we'll go look in a minute. Um, dentist and fur base. And uh, I have spent um, an astonishing amount on pets in the last two weeks. So much so, I don't know if you noticed, but normally I do a end of the month roundup and I didn't do one for the end of February uh, because I was quite upset about the amount of money that was gone out of my accounts and I think that is because it took such a long time to build them up but I was watching um, another local lady called Polly Girl Budgets and she made a comment something along the lines of um, it's not a competition to keep money in your envelopes um, we do this we, I, I do the cash stuffing so that I can mindfully spend my money, so that I'm thinking about the best use of my money before it hits my account and I go crazy and I just spend it all on wants. It's about creating some balance, some feeling of abundance, knowing that you've got money set aside for bills when they come up, even when um, they're unexpected things like the cat getting sick. So with all of that in mind, I have decided to pull out a bunch of my savings challenges because I feel like I'm spread too thin and I think it would be better for me to pull the money out of these and restuff them into um, my top three or four priorities there is a fourth one here and it's around self-care so we'll get to that but anyway alongside the, the 25 I've got here for Easter for Kinner and the Kitty I have 10, 20, 35, 40 my year now challenge which hilariously I just managed to stuff up every time I did it I don't know why just my brain didn't mm. I'll have another go at it at some point down the track but and that one I've got 10, 20, 30, 5, 40 there as well. Um, and my two sister bees um, $1 savings challenge, I have 15 and 6, so that's 21. And in Happy Bee Day, I have five. Also in this little pouch here, I have six dollars. Um, I went somewhere and spent money this week and she didn't have a five dollar note so I got, got it all in one dollars. I have no idea why the cats are meowing at each other. I don't know, they're just very chatty at the moment. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's set this up in my toast rack and get going. 
Right, so for my February money savings challenge, I am going to go with $20, I think. I do have a cheat sheet here. Let's have a look. We're up to 24 So I'm going to do 369 369, that's 18, plus 6 is 24. So I'm going to do the rest of the sprouts. Be with. Okay. So now that I've done all the sprouts, I've just got the pots left and they are $5 each. So it should be a lot easier to count the next time I stuff. I've got uh, 20 there and another 20 for $40 left to finish this savings challenge. But for today, I'm going to throw in the 24. I'm actually going to give it 25 because there's a dollar there, so I'll put that back on the stack. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90. You can hear noises in the background. My son is in his hut. Um, it's been lovely calm weather this weekend. And we did go out and about, but the fa I just asked my son, what was your favorite part of the weekend? And his favorite part was building himself a fort, a blanket fort in the living room. I will insert a picture here. So he's asked me if he can have this up for five days and I'm like, well, you can have it up until Sunday night, but I can already see is it Sunday night, <laughs> he's going to be asking if he can have it another couple of days. And truly, I don't mind. I mean, yeah, it destroys the living room, but that's, you know, what being a kid is all about, not worrying about the living room, building blanket forts. Right. This cute little cutie is for helping me build back my pet sinking fund and I'm going to do 25 today so that would be five little paws because they're five dollars each So that's 25 into this. So my pets challenge now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70. And look, I do feel bummed out to have dropped the other savings challenges but I recognize that I have priorities and I have uh, you know a small amount of income and the cost of groceries is not coming down and I am literally budgeting my ass off to make um, savings where I can and I just feel like I've hit a wall I realized I don't buy um, I used to buy myself uh, coffee to put in a plunger pot and that was like my my treat thing. I haven't been buying that for months just to because it's up to like eight bucks for a you know a thing of it so it's significant when I cut that out. I'm back to instant and look really I'm okay with it but you just get to a point where You've cut back and cut back. There's nothing else to cut. Um, yeah, and so if you're in that situation, what? look, I what feel happened? you. What the what? What happened? I am recording a video and you can be heard. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, anyway, speaking of groceries, the reason I've got lettuce here as we went to Bunnings and I bought some lettuces that I'm gonna start growing 
at home. I chose, um, well this one is apparently a lettuce that's good for colder climates because we're in the South Island, I thought that would be good. And both of them you can just pick individual leaves and they will keep growing, they're like perpetual, um, which suits us down to the ground. So I'll keep you updated on how I'm going with that. Anyway, back to quarter one. This is a weekly challenge and uh, you know obviously it's weeks 1 through 13. I think we're at week 11 now. I didn't start this at week 1 so I've been playing catch up the whole way along. I really want to finish this because I want to put it into my one month head binder. So for those of you that don't know I created this little binder. I made myself a dashboard. I figured out how much it would cost me how much I needed to save, sorry, to be one month ahead on rent, variable expenses, that's just food and petrol, you know, the absolute bare bone basics, utilities and insurance. So all of the things that um, if I had no income, I would really, really need to still be paying for. It's a big goal. I don't have a deadline on that goal. But considering I spent my other emergency savings on the pets, it's really important to me to keep saving somehow. So this is how I'm doing it at the moment. I'm chucking money in here. I am going to be trying to catch up. So I'm going to put in 75, which is that 30. That 35 and that 10. Now I could be wrong, but I think we're week 12 tomorrow. And that would mean two more weeks of stuffing. I don't think I'm going to get to the, the bonus moons. You never know though. Um, if I manage to find any extra money in my budget, I'm definitely going to be chucking it in here. The other reason I want to finish it sort of on time is because I've already got quarter two lined up to start week 14 and I don't know I'm just the sort of person that really wants to be able to finish it and I don't want to have two on the go um, because I do find the amounts like $35 in a week is quite a lot for me especially if I want to do other challenges. Alright, so what did I say? 75, 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 55, 65, 75. Okay. I'm not bothered about having all of these fives. Um, I like to have a lot of change in here because when I do my regular cash stuffing, quite often want to put just five dollars in something so I can use this as my little bank and make change. Do you want to know how much is in here? I mean it's a pretty decent stack but it is in lots of small denominations. I'll tell you next week. <laughs> Cheeky eh? Yeah. I'm going to be very proud of myself when I get this one done. And popped into that binder that I showed you. Thicken that binder up. That's gonna. I'm gonna feel good about that. Um, this one here isn't necessarily a priority like written down, but it's for a hair appointment, and I only go to the hairdresser twice a year. Um, and I don't, I don't get waxing um, or eyebrows or yeah, all of that stuff. Um, I've cut out because my budget's so small. So. On reflection, it's really important to me to make those two hairdressing appointments if I have to, um, because it's in the first week of the school holidays. If I really have to, I will move it, but I would rather not. I'd rather rather go to it. So I'm going to put the remainder in there. Well, um, each of these elements is 10, so I'm going to put 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 19, that's 20, and I've got three left over. So I will colour 
these two. and there I've got 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, 70 the appointment is a cut and colour it's 170 so fingers crossed I can get there it's not the end of the world, world if I can't get my hair done, but you know, it is important to um, take care of yourself, I think. The last challenge that I'm keeping, these ones here are in the wings waiting for sunnier days, I guess. Um, the last one that I, I just didn't want to pull it, it's I Love Tacos. It's from, my Michelle, uh, from Michelle Free to Fly, who's become a really great friend of mine. Um, in the budgeting community. I mean, everyone in the budgeting community, bar none, is um, a beautiful human being. I kid you not, I haven't met a budgeter I haven't liked that hasn't been a lovely person, that hasn't been willing to share, who hasn't been encouraging. Um, yeah, I'm just so thankful to, um, to know these people. Uh, I'm gonna shove an extra three bucks in there this is, this is literally to take my kids out for tacos. My local um, pub does a taco night, a $7 taco night on a Monday. And um, I would like to treat us when I finish uh, my course. So that was savings for the second or third week of uh, March. Thank you for being here with me. If you're here, right to the end do you want a little sneak peek at what I've been working on now that I've got the wedding dress out of the way I mean I've still got study to do but I wanted to do something creative and fun over the weekend so I did make some new envelopes and I will show you now <laughs> no fancy like organizational stuff for me this is a water box a water box that I've cut the top two-thirds off I made another one of these um, savings challenge kits. Um, I really like this one. It's really pretty. It's got the the greens and uh, natural kind of vibe and pinks and yeah. I just think this is one of my best ones. So hundred dollars savings challenge. This is all sitting here because I have to photograph it. And once I have, I will pop it up on the internet. Um, I got some more scratch-off stickers. So I have done a pile of these sweet as um, mystery savings challenges. You scratch off the amount um, and it's, you know, one a week or two a week. And you save the amount shown at the top. So I've got a bunch of those. I have a new savings challenge for those who are better healed than I. There is the $500 shopping spree. Cool. And I did these as a custom order for someone recently. Um, this is for those of you that pay your insurance as one lump sum, like yearly. So there's an insurance sinking fund tracker. And there's an excess sinking fund tracker. And there's just a simple dimple holiday tracker for a thousand dollars so yeah those are all going up and then lastly um, I made some envelopes I think these are absolutely gorgeous so they're in the, the mat and they have beautiful scrapbooking paper but we could still put labels on if you want. Then this vellum is stunning. So you will be able to see the money there, just a little bit. And it's got this like rose gold, 
I guess that's rainbow kind of motif. And then lastly, these sort of watercolour gold and pink splotchy and it's also on vellum. So you will be able to see like the money peeking through. I've got a bunch of those as well. So that was me haunting um, the spotlight clearance section. Oh, and these guys are just fronts and backs dashboards that I'm going to work out what to do with. But I have got in um, more rings, so look out for more handmade um, binders like, like my month ahead one. This kind of thing. Um, that won't be in the next week though. The rest of it will be popping up on my Etsy and my felt over the next week. So thank you for being here. I hope you're doing better in your budget than I am. I know we all have off days uh, and this is just one of those, you know, one of those off days where I, I just feel like no matter how hard I try, um, it's an uphill slog. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is and that's okay. I just need to keep reminding myself to start where I am, use what I have and do what I can. Anyway, have a good rest of the week. Ta-da!